so today I want to talk to you about becoming a match becoming a match and I have a few visuals so I have a couple handbags and a belt that I'm going to use as oh, I'm struggling here visuals later on so I have this handbag here you can see something's on the screen um, this handbag here and then this um, belt yeah, and we're going to talk about it shortly okay okay so I want to talk to you about becoming a match because so many of my clients want new realms of income they want to serve a new type of client and customer in their business and they just want a different lifestyle and you got to become a match for it and so many people think that becoming a match is actually one thing when it's actually another one we're going to talk about it today and so many of my clients at this stage they're they don't want to just pay bills they want to be able to save um, a huge portion of their income they they want to shop they stores like Neiman Marcus and um, all the things they want to travel they want to pay for more education for their craft and their business um, they want their clients to schedule regularly and consistently and be easy to work with all the things and one of the huge parts about having that to happen having this lifestyle change that you desire through your business maybe many of my clients look to three to five x their their business I use those terms they may not have multiplied it on paper and seen that but when I look at where they are and where they desire to go there's normally a three to five X um, increase in income that they really like to do in order to have some of the things that I, I mentioned earlier and so with that you have to become a match of the person who would be operating at that particular level not just your clients but who would you be as a business owner at that particular level what type of systems would you have in place in your business how would your workflow be going would you be more timely more consistent would you be more hurried would you um, work more efficiently what would that look like and you have to begin becoming a match for that before those things ever come into fruition and manifest into your space I remember hearing one time if you wanted to be a millionaire you had to function and operate like a millionaire and so when I opened my brick-and-mortar service-based business my goal was to learn like how would a person earning a really high income operate their business regardless of whether it was a new business or not this is the reason why I had handbook and policy and procedure manuals and there were systems and time was super important things like that I began doing from off gate like in the beginning like I didn't wait until those things happened in order I didn't wait until we made multiple six figures to begin putting things in place right because a lot of those things are the things that make you a match for the premium clients that you desire for the new lifestyle that you want for the way you even want your business to, to run and function so my mentor told me something so beautiful before she said your clientele is a reflection of who you are your clientele is a reflection of who you are and so if there are inconsistencies listen I had to do the math I still use that concept that she shared with me today as I'm building my business today I remember when she first shared it with me I, I heard her but I really wasn't paying it any attention because I had you know clients coming from every I had a lot of clients and over time maybe about two years later um, this voice I heard this voice say your clientele is a reflection of who you are because what was happening was clients were I was beginning to notice that clients were canceling um, not showing up for appointments um, just very inconsistent 
And at the time, I had been handing my business card out at the club. And, you know, a, a sense of time and value of those things, it just wasn't there in the clientele that I previously had. And so I shifted and I went back to my, my foundation, things that, you know, my parents had taught me that were strong structural things. And I began to, you know, just attract a completely different clientele. And I have these handbags and purses. I'm going to tell a little story about them um, because I want to talk about becoming a match. So this particular bag here is, guys, it's 20 some years old. This was the first Gucci bag that I purchased on my own, right? And so I purchased that from uh, Phipps Plaza in Atlanta. And there was a guy working there, which I'm sure he's no longer working there now. Or he may be, I don't know. But his name was Shane and he was my personal shopper at that particular time. And this is the first bag that I bought um, and Shane helped me on that particular day and then he became my personal shopper afterwards. And then um, this bag here, I purchased in um, gosh, Tyson's Corner in Virginia. So when I went to purchase this particular bag, I had this particular bag on tow. So I had this on and I remember everything I had on that particular day. It was just one of those moments that I did not forget. I had on like a black um, turtleneck, but it was sleeveless. I still have the shirt to, the, to, to this day. I still wear the shirt. And I had on some print-like pants and this black belt with little gold things here sandals and I remember I remember the outfit because I remember the lady asking me oh who are you wearing so I knew she wasn't talking about my bag because she knew you know we're at a Gucci store she knew the item because it was their item so I knew she was talking about my clothing and I can't remember where my shirt was from but I do remember my pants were from Express so I buy name brand things I buy things that you know aren't so name brand if I like it and it looks good on me you know I buy it and there was a point in time where and then I got this belt here this is a um, this is Gucci as well but I believe Neiman Marcus maybe Saks I can't even remember where I got the belt from but I'm sharing these visuals because there are stories that line up with becoming a match that I want you all to think about so at one point in time I was really into buying designer handbags and clothes and things of that nature and I still like those things but my my heart and my mindset now is more on buying land than it is things of that nature. If you guys can see some of my first pieces were 20 some years ago. So I'm at Tyson's Corner and I walk in and the lady says, oh who are you wearing? So I knew she was talking about my clothes and I was like, well I'm not wearing anybody fabulous in my head. Right, so I said, oh, um, I don't remember my top and my pants are from Express. And so um, at the same time, I picked out, you know, the bag that I wanted to purchase. And I'm sharing this with you all because the first time that I bought this bag and I went in the Gucci store, I didn't have a Gucci bag in tow. Because remember, this is my first bag. I'm sure I had a nice leather handbag because I've always been a handbag girl. I like handbags, you know, it may have been a like a Moschino or um, it could have just been a le leather bag but I had nothing saying I'm going to be able to afford to buy a bag when I get in here right this is something that I would already decided before I ever got to the store you guys stay with me here right I knew that I was purchasing my first Gucci bag remember this has been 20 some years ago that I purchased that on my own and um, so I already knew, I already had saved the money or um, set the money aside to be able to purchase that particular bag. And so if the sales rep had um, assumed, because I didn't come in already with, you know, Gucci or I don't, I may have had a plain leather handbag. I'm not sure what it was, if it even showed like any symbols or, or anything like that. But she had no way of knowing whether or not I would be able to 
afford that particular bag. And I'm sharing that because I want you all to know that your premium customer or client, you aren't going to always know because of their, what they're wearing or even what they're driving, whether or not they can afford the offers that you have. And so if I have any tip for you is to not make assumptions about people's money, right? Don't count people's purses and pocketbooks and handbags because you don't, you never know. You just have no idea who can actually afford your services. You charge based on your value. And then you become a match for what it is that you're desiring to call in or attract into your business. And when I went to purchase this bag, I had my other bag on my shoulder and the lady asked me, she's assuming that I'm wearing somebody, right? Um, that was more of a designer name brand um, other than my bag, right? She assumed that, but I wasn't, but I still purchased a bag. So I'm sharing this with you all to let you know that, yes, things like external things may attract people into your brand, your aesthetics, all of those things become important, right? Especially if you have a brick and mortar business and people are coming into that particular space. But what's more important is that you are an energetic match for what you're trying to build and call in. So if you want clients who schedule regularly, that means these are clients who invest in themselves regularly. Do you invest in yourself regularly in some form or fashion? It's, there's an energy behind that that people are attracted to right that are on that same vibration that same frequency right um you, you want clients who are easy to work with is it easy for people to schedule with you is it easy for them and i don't mean like you just take any type of clients you don't have any standards you don't have any policies and procedures i mean no the process is it simple i i saw a video where someone was sharing how people you know they didn't need to contact them this way or that way and i i understand you need to have procedures and systems for people to be able to contact you you know i saw two videos like this one the energy behind it was absolutely beautiful and the other energy was like mm, i don't know if i would want to schedule with her does that make sense and so Outside of all of the external things, you know, you may be looking for the client who has the name brand bag or all of those things, but guys, I'm just trying to tell you that you, you can't count people's money, right? There, there is an energetic match. There's an energy behind what it is that you're doing. There are some things like timing and um, cleanliness and um, consistency that certain level of clients, those premium clients are going to be looking for that a client who doesn't value the same things, it, it won't be super important to them. And if you find that there are areas in your business that you need to make adjustments in and tweak in and begin to master, those are the things that are going to bring in, that are going to allow you to become a match for what it is that you desire more than anything else because it happens on the inside first. So I was sharing with a client who is um, who had a call with me looking to sign on for a, another way of working with me. And I always go and look at the client, their space, where they're at, what they're telling me they need. When they need accountability, if they found they haven't been consistent, if there are some things that they need to pull together and they haven't quite reached that six figure mark yet, I refer them to the academy. And the academy is beautiful because we work on things like mindset and um, your leadership and time management, um, all the things, right? Depending on where you are in your process, we work on it inside the academy. This is why I say the academy is the ultimate growth track. And it doesn't mean that you're just starting out in your business. There are people who've been doing this 15, 20 years 
that the academy would take their business to a completely different level because of some of the skill sets internally that they're able to tap into, the, the level of personal power they're able to tap into that makes them a match for what it is that they desire to call in into their business and their life, whether that be the clients that they desire to service, those premium clients or premium experiences in their life. You have to become a match and that's on the inside. It ain't here. Look, it's not here. <laughs> it's not in the belt. It's internal. It's internal. And so my question to you today is, are you a match for what you're wanting to call in? Are you a match for those desires? Are you investing in yourself regularly? Are you consistent? Is there fear for you when it comes, if you are if you have this high-end offer um, that you're offering people and you're wanting people to pay for with ease, do you have an ease about investing in yourself at a large level? Because there is an energetic match. There, it's about energy. And many people, um, find themselves feeling stuck and overwhelmed and they're doing all of the things and they're, you know, going live and they've got all the colors and the graphics and they've taken the photo shoots and, you know, they got the pretty website and all of the things and it still isn't clicking because it's, there's an energetic alignment that happens. It's an energetic match, right? And that's where you're building your brand from the inside out. Two things. Maybe the Academy is for you. It is a 12-month opportunity. You get to work with me the entire year. It is self-paced. So you do have modules that you have access to. There are different topics each month, but each week you get a new training. And then at the end of the month, you coach with me. And then there is, that would really relate to becoming a match. Then there is my Perfect People Framework where I work with you privately. For 14 days identifying who your perfect people are because if you don't know who your perfect people are you don't even know how you need to be in alignment how your brand needs to be aligned how certain things may need to be tweaked for the next level um, expansion of attracting that different type of client at that different level i'll put the link to both of those opportunities in the comments there are two more spaces i only open three for the um Perfect People Framework, where I work with you privately. I have two more spots available for that, and then they're gone. They're actually just a framework that I normally teach inside my masterminds and my one-to-one um, -one long-term VIP um, coaching.